everyone, welcome back to my channel, Sarah from Year of Boxes. I am reviewing Book of the Month Club for you guys today. This is their May subscription. It has been quite some time since I did a Book of the Month review for you guys, just because there's not much to it. So it's not, you know, a really exciting unboxing, but it is a subscription that I really, really do enjoy. So I thought it would be worth kind of just giving you guys an update and talking a little bit about it. So if you're not familiar with Book of the Month, obviously they're a book subscription. There are nine $9.99 per month. They release five new book um, selections every month for you to choose from. And um, yeah, that's kind of it. They are shipping to the US. Shipping is free. And I'm just going to show you guys. I have the whole May collection. I'm lucky enough to get to the whole collection to review every month. But also what they do is so they send me my selection in my box. This is exactly how it would come um, for you guys and it's just very simple they do actually wrap it in plastic wrap I've already removed that and then the other thing that they do is um, they attach it to this and then so this sits like this in the box and then it's plastic wrap so that it um, prevents it the box or the book from getting knocked around in the box if that makes sense anyways <laughs> So they do package it nicely. So this was my book selection for May, uh, How to Walk Away by Catherine Center. I'm going to just quickly read you guys um, a little bit about the book because I want to tell you why this was my choice. Um, so it says, Margaret is just about to step into the bright future she's worked so hard for for so long, a new dream job, a fiance she adores, and the promise of a picture-perfect life just around the corner. Then suddenly, on what should have been one of the happiest days of her life, everything she worked for is taken away in a brief moment in the hospital. Um, and forced to face the possibility that nothing will ever be the same, Maggie must confront the unthinkable. First, there's her fiancé, Chip, who wallows in self-pity while simultaneously and expecting to be forgiven. Then there's her sister, Kit, who shows up after pulling a three-year vanishing act. Finally, there's Ian, her physical therapist, the one the nurses said was too tough for her. Ian, who won't let her give in to her pity and who sees her like no one has seen her before. Sometimes the last thing you want is the one thing you need. Sometimes all you need... Some, all we need is someone to catch us when we fall and sometimes love can find us in the least likely place we would ever expect. How to walk away is Catherine Center at her very best. Okay, anyways, I wanted to read you guys that because I don't know if you get you, these little stories on Facebook. They pop up on my Facebook feed from time to time and basically it's a true story. It's a picture of someone and then or sometimes it's a little video and it tells you um, a little bit about them and usually it's you know a motivating story about something that they've overcome but it's so weird because this book sounds exactly like one of the stories I read I don't know if it's the same or if it's just similar or what but that's what intrigued me by this one and that's why this is the one that I'm going to start with so that is my selection for May but then we've also got I'm not going to read you guys <laughs> about these ones the perfect mother so we have that that one actually sounds really good that will probably be my next one we have small country we have um still lives and then we have the Mars Room. So I love that they have a variety every month. They seem to have a little bit for everyone, um, different kinds of books, different genres, that kind of thing. Um, the last couple of months have been really exciting for me because the last, I want to say, three months, I've found two books that I really, really wanted to read, and I'm super picky with my book. So um, I'm very excited to start this one. I kind of want to start this one at the same time, but anyways, my last month's uh, book selection was amazing. I read it so fast. I think I read it in like three or four days, which is like a record for me. Um, I have pictures on my Instagram. I take pictures of my book selections for the month, so you can look back at that. And I'll put details down below. Let me know your thoughts, and I'll be back with more. Thanks for watching.